Hello, my name is Pierre Harry, and I'm a product specialist with Aviva Select California. In this video, I will be describing the ITME View App object and system platform. So, what exactly is the ITME View App object and system platform? Well, it's a system platform object that allows you to manage Aviva Edge applications from the Orchestra IDE and centralized Galaxy repository. This object has been available in System Platform since System Platform 2012, and it can manage ITME 2014 R2 version 8.0 SP1 projects and all newer versions of that product. Keep in mind that the term ITME is the legacy term for Aviva Edge. So while the object is still called ITME View App in System Platform, be assured that this same object will allow you to manage your modern Edge applications the same way. In this video, I may be using ITME and Touch Machine Edition and Edge interchangeably. So why should you use the ITME View App object? What exactly is its business value? Well, one big reason is that by using it, you can launch the ITME IDE directly from System Platform. So you can create and modify an ITME object all from that environment. This can help you build, deploy, and maintain a set of cohesive applications that reduce your engineering costs. Because you're managing the ITME applications from the Orchestra IDE, you can deploy the projects from the System Platform IDE to runtime stations. This allows you to easily and naturally integrate and synchronize tag values and alarm statuses from the ITME runtime stations with your System Platform environment. And by extension, by using this object, you can also automatically expose the tags, including their runtime values and alarm statuses from the ITME project as attributes of the object and system platform. So those tags in your runtime stations will be viewable inside a system platform directly. And last but not least, this object facilitates the link between your ITME project and your Aviva historian by allowing you to easily set tags from your ITME project directly into the historian. The system architecture that is unlocked by the ITME View App object makes it easy to manage remote edge runtime machines. As you can see in the diagram, the ITME View App object communicates the edge runtime nodes by using TCP IP. Once the object is properly configured and the initial runtime files and remote agent executable files, which is C server.exe here, are installed on the runtime nodes, you are then able to edit and download the project to the runtime machines, all from the system platform IDE. So in a lot of ways, this works like the remote management tool inside of Edge, except that the management is performed from system platform instead. The object configuration workflow in system platform is fairly straightforward. It involves importing the ITME view app object from the object library and creating a derived template from, you, from it, which you can see in the list here the drive template on in the template toolbox right here, HMI TR1. This derived template allows you to either import an edge project that you created in the standalone edge environment to edit it, or to create a new edge project from scratch. This is useful because if you already have an existing edge project and you want to transfer it and not to create it from scratch, you can using this specific object, or you can just start your development from scratch entirely from this object. So in a lot of ways, it works very similarly to InTouch Window Maker in that opening this object right here, the derived template, will essentially overlay the edge development environment on top of the system platform IDE. So you can edit and develop your entire project using this method. And as you can see with the bi-directional purple arrow right there, when the configuration object is edited in this way, all of the associated edge project information will be shared with the system platform IDE. So you will have attributes that you can view inside a system platform associated with this object that will reference the different tags that are inside of your edge environment. This enforces synchronization between both development environments and makes it easier for you to keep track of everything. Once the project is configured via the derived template, you can then deploy instances of the object to exchange data with the edge runtime instances that are deployed to remote HMIs. When you edit these instances, you can specify the IP addresses of the remote nodes. 
which will then allow you to download the project to those remote stations. This will allow the runtime machines to share data with System Platform, and you'll be able to see the runtime values of your tags and your alarms inside of the System Platform IDE directly. So now I will deep dive a little bit more by showing you guys how to configure the object in a demo environment. So now that you guys know what the ITME View App object is and what it does, let's go ahead and deep dive a little bit into how to configure it inside a system platform. So the first thing you'll notice here is inside of your system folder in the template toolbox, the ITME object is not here by default. So what we need to do is import it into your Galaxy. So go ahead and click on Galaxy, Import Object, and we want to go ahead and navigate to local disk, program files, x86, Aviva, Aviva Edge 2020, the Redis folder, and then uh, ITME object right here, right there. And then once you click on open, go ahead on and make all these configuration options default, click on okay, and it's gonna go ahead and import the object. So now that your object template is right here, you want to go ahead and derive a derived template from it. So click on new derived template. And we can go ahead and leave it as ITME view app underscore 001. <clears throat> and this is the object that if you double click on it, you can choose to either edit an existing project by importing an existing edge project right here, click on edit project, or you can create a new one. So keep in mind that you also have some other options here, like you can see the list of attributes, scripts, and object information associated with this object, right? So as I mentioned earlier, once you edit your edge project, all of the tags and alarms will automatically be brought in as attributes right here um, associated with this particular object. So in our case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on edit project, and we're gonna create a new ITME application, and then click on okay. Let's go ahead and wait for it to pop up. So once I created new ITME object right here, it brings up this configuration screen, at which point you can select your product type. So make sure you select the correct one. You can go ahead and edit the resolution as well. Click on okay. And this resolution will automatically adapt, you know, depending on if you're opening this in the edge standalone environment or inside of the orchestra IDE. Go ahead and click on next. That's okay. We're just gonna show that these are the configuration options for creating the ITME project through uh, the ITME view app object inside a system platform. So at this point, you can see here that this is just like your edge development environment, right? This is the same environment that you would see if you opened up edge um, in its standalone version, right? By opening up edge development studio, but this is just overlaid on top of system platform and opened up through the ITME view app derived template right here, right? So if you double click on it, you'll open this up right there. And you can see that the project name and project directory has been filled out as we filled out the configuration there. So it works just like InTouch Window Maker, right? So you can go ahead and develop your entire edge project just using this method right here. Or if you started the development um, you know, in your standalone edge environment, you can import it just by doing the edit project process that we did here, but selecting editing current project and then bring it to the IDE this way. One more thing I wanted to mention inside of the ITME view app object here before we move on to the next step in the configuration is that if you go ahead and edit your project tags and add a project tag like temperature, for example, you'll notice that you have three columns here, I value, I alarm, and I historian, which have checkboxes, right? So what do those checkboxes actually do? Well, they all pertain to how the information from the edge environment is shared to system platform through the ITME view app object. So essentially the I value column stands for integrated value. So if you check that off, it will share the HMI value of the tag with system platform. I alarm stands for integrated alarm, which will share the alarm status with system platform. And I historian is integrated historian. So if you check that off, it'll share the tag value to the system platform historian. Another thing to note is that besides these three configuration options, if you select your tag and go to the home ribbon and under the tag section, click on properties, 
you can go ahead and edit some advanced um, options as they pertain to the system platform integration of the object. So this is an important thing to consider when you're, you know, editing tags here and you want to, you know, control how those tags are being shared to system platform and how they will then populate inside of the attributes list of your object here. So the last thing I wanted to mention here is that one huge advantage to using the ITME view app object in system platform is that you can also manage your remote edge runtime nodes, right? So much, you know, much like the remote management tool that's inside of the Viva Edge, you can actually deploy your runtime project files to the edge remote nodes, all from the system platform IDE. So the way you do that is that once your edge project is configured using the drive template right here, you can go ahead and right click on it and click on new. It lets me here, it's frozen a little bit, instance. And that will create an instance of the ITME view app right here. Let's leave it at default. The name doesn't matter here too much for demonstration purposes. And then if you double click on it, this is where you can edit the runtime environment uh, configuration settings from within system platform. So as you can see here, you can specify the device IP. So this is where you would specify the IP address of your remote management of your remote node. So in this case, I don't have one currently in this architecture, so I'm not going to follow through with this process. But if you had one, you would enter the IP address here and then click on connect, which will give you then a status code telling you if you connected successfully. And then you could download the project that you edited in the derived template, as I showed earlier, onto the remote node right there. So like I said, it works exactly like the remote management tool inside of the Viva Edge, where it lets you manage those remote nodes you know, from the IDE, but Instead of managing them from the edge development environment, you're managing them from the orchestra ID directly. And at this point, once you've downloaded the files to the edge runtime nodes, what this will allow you to do is it will allow your runtime project to share data back to system platform. So inside a system platform, inside of the attributes list right here of the instance, you'll be able to see the tag values as they change in your runtime nodes as well. Please note that these tag values are updated on an event trigger basis. So they're not pulled constantly, but when a tag value changes inside of the runtime station, it will synchronize right here. So that's how they change and, and update periodically. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.